Hi guys, welcome to Colossus Mathematics class. Do not forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. All right, today we want to talk about integration. Now, the first thing you have to know about integration is that integration is the reverse of differentiation. I guess what I'm saying that is, if I differentiate something and it will give me this, then the reverse is integration. I guess what I'm saying. So, first thing we are going to be looking at is that there are two types of integral. There are two types of integral. The first one is definite integral. The first one is definite integral. And the second one is indefinite. Indefinite integral. Now, definite integral is the integral that has upper limit and lower limit. That is, its limit is like this. Let's say b a x f i mean x dx i guess i'm seeing so this is an example of definite integral like right? this is an example of indefinite integral that is a definite integral is one that has the upper limit and the lower limit this is the upper limit and this is the lower limit or we call it upper integral lower integral do you get that now all right so let's look at different i mean integration table now so integration integration table don't forget to subscribe like and share all right so let's say i have y and i have the integral of it here okay so let's do this way this will be our integral and this will be the answer so if i have if i have x raised to the power n if i have integral x raised to the power n dx the integral will be x n plus one over n plus one plus c you have to know that in integral you always have plus c in an indefinite integral but a definite integral will not always have c but an indefinite integral like this we always have a c so if i have an example like x raised to the power 3 dx my integral will be what x is power 3 plus 1 4 over what 4 plus c do you get that now all right so this is the first one if i have another one let's say i have integral if I have integral f, let's say I have integral f plus g d of x. Now this will now become integral f d of x plus integral g d of x. That is, you can always split them. That means if I have a question like integral 2x plus Let's integral 2x squared plus 5x dx. I can always share this one to what? Integral 2x squared dx plus integral 5x dx. Do you get that? Now? So you can always share it like this, all right? So another one, if I have integral k x valve integral constant and k it will still give me the it now become k x you don't forget that if we are going to have n here so this will be n plus one over n plus one plus c so here also you have plus c here plus c plus c all right okay we've not gotten the it is when you when you integrate it that i now have plus c so like this this will be the answer all right so let's go to trigonometric functions like integral sine x dx if you have integral sine x dx what will you get it's very simple you know in differentiation when you differentiate sign, it will give you what? Cos. 
and if you differentiate cos, it will give you what? Minus sign. So, but here now, if you integrate sign, it will give you what? Minus cos x plus what? C. Then if you integrate cos x dx, it will give what? Sin x plus what? C. If you integrate tan x dx. Now, normally, if you differentiate sec, you will get what? Tan. I get what I'm saying. But now, if you integrate sec, rather, sec, if you integrate sec x, if you integrate sec x, you will get tan x plus what? C. Do you get that now? So, this is what, if you integrate, okay, let's do this way. If you have, you know, if you have, the, if you want to differentiate, if you differentiate tan x, we are going to get what? Sec square x. Right? That means if you integrate sec square x, you will get tan x. You get that now? So this is this. Then also, if you integrate exponential x, it will still give what? Exponential x plus c. If you integrate exponential kx. Now, also you have to note that integration deals with division, while differentiation deals with more of multiplication. That is, you know, normally if you differentiate exponential kx, you have k exponential kx. But now, because it is integration, it's not what exponential kx over k plus what c. Do you get that now? So this is the integral of this. Then, if you integrate, if you integrate one over x dx, don't forget dx. We always follow. Yes. If you integrate 1 over x, don't forget that in differentiation, if you, if you differentiate lin x, it will give what? 1 over what? x. That way, if you integrate 1 over x, it will give what? Lin x plus what? c. So, do you get that now? Alright, let's continue. We still have some other ones to also do. We still have one or two we also need to learn. So also, if you integrate, if you integrate a as far x dx, it will give you a as far x over lin a plus c. If you integrate a as far x, where is your a is a number. So for example, if you integrate 2 as far x Yes, the answer is what? 2 raised power x over what? Lean 2 plus c. So these are the basic rules. These are the basic rules we'll be using in our integration in the next class. So don't forget to subscribe, like I said earlier, like and share this video. Thank you very much.